Oh, they brought in someone. Yeah, they brought in someone, which they changed from Promethe. Okay. Yeah, okay. How music. how big is the person? Um, she's about an average height. I would say maybe five three. Five. <laughs> is the way to go hello so we have another student here she also just um took her exam with um dms diversified technologies all the organizations they are similar so i would advise you pay attention to what she's going to uh, tell us this is she's like giving us um information beforehand especially for those of us that have not taken our skills testing um, exams, so make sure you um, listen and at, at the end of the day, if you find it helpful, make sure you turn your notification bell on, subscribe and always tune um, to the um, Skills Made Easy channel so you get more information. All right, let's hear from her. She's going to introduce herself. Hi, my name is Alicia. I graduated from the Philstone School this past August. Oh, this Philstone School again. That yes. school must be famous. It is. Okay. Good school. Welcome to the channel. Thank you. Okay. So, um, I want you to share your experience with us right from the time you went into the room, how you comported yourself, what was the first thing you were asked to do, um, were they like um, pro um, prompted skills and unprompted did they ask you to wash your hand or you just did that so i want you to share your experience right from when you came into the room okay so when i first walked into the room the examiner was there along with the what do you call it the resident actor so the resident actor is like a, a oh they brought in someone yeah they brought in someone which they changed from promethe okay, yeah, okay. how music. how big is the person um she's about an average height i would say maybe five three about my height or so oh. so yeah. you didn't get to use the dummy at all we only use the dummies for certain skills okay. like peri care catheter care yeah. and as far as i know singles are, um, oh so that is a skills little skills. bit different from what we experienced with prometric prometric was um maybe one of the students who asked for the other and some of the skills were done with the dummies so that's interesting that they brought someone okay, okay. So after that, uh, they told me my first skill. Okay. It was I had peri care with hand washing. Hmm. So they told me I could do my peri my peri care skill first, and then hand washing after. Oh, okay. So I did that skill, completed it. It took me around a little over fifteen minutes, I would say. Okay. My fifteen minute timer went off when I was doing that skill. Um, by the time I finished that skill, they then told me that I was going to be doing foot care, and we oh. also did that on the actual. Um, model as well. Okay. Um, they had her set up in a chair already. She was already set up in a chair. Socks were off and everything. Mm. By the time I got to that skill, I had seven minutes left to do that one skill and range of motion for the shoulders. But because it was just range of motion for only one shoulder, mm -hmm. she said that she can just stand in a chair. She so don't have to move her or anything. Oh, so they just gave you range of motion yep. shoulder. Did just they the mention the actual part, left or right? Yep. They told me. They told me I would wash the left foot and I would do the left shoulder. You see, so if they specify the actual um, side of the body, you make sure you you um, locate that part before you start whatever you're doing. Because if you do not do it on that side, they say right and you do it on the left, you're not going to scale through. So that is another important information to note. Okay. So by the time I finished foot care, I cleaned that up and everything I had right there. And then I just did range of motion right there after and they let me finish right after that. Done doing any more hand washing, I just use hand sanitizers. Okay, do hand hygiene so that work. was how many skills apart from hand, hand washing? Apart from hand washing, three. Three, yeah. So, with hand washing, it's four skills they're going to give you. And in how many minutes today? 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah. And they so, give you a timer for 15 halfway through. Oh, okay. So, you also didn't run out of time, right? No, I was able to finish everything in time. Oh, good. So you, you see that not everyone is going to be lucky with the time. So uh, in as much as we want you to um, do your skills the normal way they expect you to do it, the, the state standard way, you also have to be cautious of time because you, uh, you may know what you're doing but you're taking too much time to do that skill. If they stop you, that will be a fail. So you want to be on time with what you're doing. So do you have any other, uh, do you have um, like an advice to give to your um, colleagues out there, those who are still 
um, in, in school and those who are um, coming to take the state testing um, soon. I would tell you guys to just, you know, be calm, be confident, you know your skills, when you take it, just go and do it as if, you know, you would know it, as you would do it on the actual resident. You see, you heard from the um, students, not, I'm not saying that she's the one that just went in and took the exam, so better believe her and prepare yourself. And it's a good thing that we have people that have come here to like, um, save us from the calamities that would have been, <laughs> been our um, portion but it's going to be avoided because of um, this information that you just got from them thank you so so much for coming of course it was my pleasure thank you